Germs. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Dilettante Ball. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilettante Ball, we go on Wikipedia. We learn about the states. And we talk about it. Yeah, we do. You, uh, I was like so ready for you to say we click random Dude. article and I was like, oh, I can't what's wait. happening? I can't wait to get back in that groove. Are we ever gonna? I mean, 40 here's, weeks from now. Here's the thing that I was thinking. What? Uh, and we don't have to oh, do boy. it. But every time I've made a suggestion, we've done it. So <laughs> That's true. Well, because you're a bully. I want to read every Goosebumps book. <laughs> Wait, unrelated to no, no, no. So each oh, each God. week would be a new Goosebumps book. How many Goosebumps books were there? A couple hundred. I, I bet there was like fifty two exactly. Just so it's oh, like we have awesome. to do it. Uh, no, there. Were, I mean, we don't have to. Maybe not all of them. Maybe the first. Maybe for a year. Well, we we'll do just it. we'll just do Fear Street. No, I'm not. Doing, <laughs> I'm not doing Fear Street <laughs> bullshit. Yo, fuck Fear Street, dude. Um, I want to at least get through Monster Blood Four and God. then we can stop. Because I feel like Monster Blood Four was yeah, so late. That was like one of the last ones. I know, and it was like they totally changed the properties of Monster Blood. <laughs> <laughs> they basically turned Monster Blood into like um, I don't remember Gremlins. It was it. It was like they drink water and oh, get bigger, and it was yeah. like blue instead of green. I remember the blue for sure. I remember reading an art, like a uh, like a, a forward or something from R.L. Stein that was like, yeah, the Monster Blood's blue because the veins in your you know like the oh blood in your is like shut up, dude. Uh, like spreading misinformation when I was like in fifth grade. So, so and I feel like God. they're super quick reads. Like you could read it in one sitting. Yeah, yeah. So I I, I would read those like during class. Yeah. So. You know, mull we'll, it over, mull it over. Yeah, what a percolate. If you, for the next if you 40 want weeks. us to do that, tweet us at Dilton Ball, D I L E T T A N T E B A L L. Hashtag uh, the haunted mask. That's the one you chose, huh? I like that one. I never read that it was one. A good, and it was a good uh, TV episode, too. Do you remember the, that? I do remember it being a TV episode. I remember never reading it because the cover was too scary. Oh, sure. It was like properly scary to me. Uh, one of the, the, there was one that was very strange, and I, I, I don't remember the book as well as I remember the TV show episode, but it was A Night in Terror Tower. Oh, yeah. And, and the plot was very murky to me. I don't the, recall exactly. I just know it was like, like two kids go on vacation and they get trapped like in the in medieval times. But they were actually from the the medieval era, and their parents like sent them into the future what? to protect them. It's like really crazy. That's and it, really and it crazy. Ends in a really like nebulous way. I don't yeah. super remember it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. He loves. He loves any of his books like that, where it's like kind of open ended and kind of like, well, so, well, you're still being creepy though. So, so you can write four fucking monster blood books. <laughs> like all of them would kind of end like in a, like, like there'd be like the Daniel Ma, and it'd be like, oh, we made it out alive. But then they all got that one last egg yeah. in Madison Square Garden. <laughs> <laughs> a little Godzilla reference for you. Um, My favorite Goosebumps book. Here's here's a, 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 a sort of related. It's a it's a bit of a spooky book that I'm reading right now. Hey, real quick. Are we? Is it officially like I've, I'm feeling like it's creeping? Um, well, let me tell you what I'm reading okay. and what I spent my whole day yesterday doing. <laughs> okay, I'm reading "I Am Haunted" by Zach Baggins, <laughs> okay. host of uh, Ghost Adventures on the Travel Channel. I'm so excited! Yesterday, I, I was working from home, and between like yesterday and the past weekend, I've watched every episode of Ghost Adventures that's on Netflix, oh, which God. is not as many as it sounds. It's only like 25. Yeah, it's like what a season, two seasons. It's it's. It's Ghost Adventures collection, so it's like, oh, it's like the best, best of. of. Even the though all that, of them are the best well, of. Well, yeah, and the thing that sucks is the back half are like compilation episodes, oh, like God. spooky hotels. But y- most of the segments were already in Ugh, the previous episodes. The... But but you anyway, got so I'm excuse my language. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so whatever. It's gonna be funny when my kids are really like, Dad, I can't believe you just said that. Yeah, w- yeah. Like, what the nice Oriental man? Like, come on, Dad. <laughs> Dad, he was from Cuba. <laughs> uh, so we're on vacation here because the borders are open. <laughs> it's twenty eighty four. Uh, so so, uh, what was I talking about? You're talking about the go, creep. Go, 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 uh, the creep. Yes. So the he, creep. I, I met this creep today. I was reading Ghost. Uh, uh, I am haunted. Yep. And let me let me just say, I don't believe in ghosts at all. No. But but I love spooky stuff. Uh, yeah, Sam's. So I'm reading this book, and it's. <sighs> Got to be honest, it's not a great book. Pretty but terrible. I, f- I feel really bad. Like, can I like, ask you real quick? Did he write it, or does someone ghost write it for him? He and he even s- talks about his writing. Did you hear what process. I just said? Oh God! Damn. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> well, y- yes, <laughs> yes, and yes, yes, and yes. Yeah. So, so the way he wrote the book and he described it, the process in his book is that's a good he, way to keep up. Uh, you know, hundred pages. He just called this dude and or or maybe he didn't even call him but he he just recorded himself like telling stories and then this dude like wrote it into something that was kind of a book that's awesome and, but i feel so bad like speaking ill of it because 
I you can tell in reading, even though it's not a good book, that he's like very passionate. Okay. So I so I feel really bad. Hey, you know what's wrong with this world? Me, there's, people like me. There's too many people that are passionate about shit they shouldn't be. Yeah. It's like, sh- dude, don't. You're done. No, I know. Go be a plumber. Stop what you're doing and go be a plumber. But he's, I mean, he's successful. He's very successful. Yep, so, he is. so who's, you know, jokes, jokes on us, I guess. Yeah. But, so, but anyway, I'm reading the book, wait, waiting for a train, and I'm holding it uh, parallel to the ground so no one can see the spine of the book <laughs> to see what I'm reading. I did the same thing today. I was reading a Star Wars book, and I was like, please don't. Oh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> no, I know, I know, but it's like, I don't want to talk about this. Uh, or, it's a good book too. Because I'm gonna have like dudes being like, "What uh, are you reading?" Just like, like, shut up. up. Um. And this dude stands next to me, and he, like, looks over at, at the book, and it's like, eh, don't do don't. that, but fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's looking, but he's looking for a really long time, like he's reading along with me or something. And then, and then he stops, and then he bends over and turns his head oh. up. And like I said, I'm holding the book <laughs> parallel to the ground, so the spine is facing the ground. He looks up to see what book I'm reading. His head turns. Oh my he god. He like bends over and looks back up at me or at the book <laughs> to and see what it is. His eyes goes from the cover right into your soul. Yeah, uh, yeah and I believe that he I have a demonic attachment <laughs> oh now. Oh my god. It was like I thought you were going to say this is slightly that's pretty bad. A little bit worse would have been if his head would have been in between you and the book just so he would look you dead in the eye. Oh like he rotates his head backwards like an owl. Good book. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, no, and then so, you blink and he's gone. So it wasn't like spooky, creepy. It was just like, dude. First of all, don't <laughs> go near me. Second of all, if you really need to know, just fucking ask me. That's but so don't many... ask me because I don't want to talk to you. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, and that's I don't know, he's he's on the spectrum or something, dude. Like he can't he can't like that's him trying to make a friend, and you just totally dissed him. That's fine because he was a fucking creepo. <laughs> he's on the he's on the. We need some EMF detectors because he's on the electromagnetic spectrum. <laughs> That's what I meant. You know, you know. I mean, the best way to communicate with him is probably a, a spirit box or an ovulus device. Um, those both sound like things that you shouldn't be talking about to anybody. <laughs> That's. <laughs> Have you seen my spirit box? Shut the f- go go away. <laughs> Don't um, talk to me on the train. So yeah, if you want to swap ghost adventure stories, ghost stories, spooky stories, creepy train stories, tweet us at Dilla Tom Paul, D-I-L-E-T-T-A-N-T-E-B-A-L-L. Hashtag, Hashtag spirit box. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, so last week our state was New York. It was, finally. What do you think the next one is? Number 12. Uh, let me see what we're at. Uh, I think New York. New York was 11, so yes, we're at 12. That was my guess. It'll probably be number 12. So I'm I'm done. You're I, done. I made it. You're I made done it. I knew it was 12. What haven't we done? Have we not done West Virginia? Was that even was that even part of it? I don't know. Fucked up that we don't know the original 13 <laughs> colonies, huh? I feel like if you show me a map, I could tell you. Those ones. <laughs> just generally gesturing well, in the I mean, New England area. <laughs> like, I could I could pick out, I could do like a like a deduction sort of thing where it's like, okay, I know these seven. I know it's not Maine. I know it's not Florida. I know it's only on the East Coast. So, you know what I mean? So, it's like, oh, let's left over. Okay, I, South I Carolina. Say, you know. I'm going to say North Carolina. I was going to say North Carolina is probably. Was Vermont a colony? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna say yes. Um, if we haven't done North Carolina, and Vermont, those are. I'm gonna say North Carolina's next. That's what I'm gonna say too. Okay, what we got? North Carolina. Uh, baby. All right. Yeah. Cool. Hell yeah. That is so cool. Province of North Carolina. Uh, date of ratification: November twenty first, seventeen eighty nine. A full like wow. year and a half after New York. Wow. That's that's impressive. Uh, so let's go. Let's get. That's in. so interesting, isn't it? Because you think, wow, the thirteen colonies, <clears throat> but it's like they took a long yeah, time yeah, to get yeah. their, their act together. Uh, all right. Their flag is pretty crazy. It looks, uh, it just feels racist to me. <laughs> it is. It's very, very divisive. Yeah. It's like whites over here. Reds, <laughs> reds here. <laughs> ugh, blues here. It look, it, it's, it's evocative of, uh, the Texas flag to me. M- oh, May 20th, 1775. I don't know what that date I don't know is. That is either. I don't know. Maybe when it first became a colony. Maybe. April 12th, 1776. What's that? Yeah, I don't know. These dates are not really This is a about. bad flag. Nicknames. Old North State. Nope. Okay. North Kakalaki. Tar Heel State. Sure. Motto. Esequam Vidiri. So that's, that's Spanish? Yeah. To be rather than to seem. Okay, so walk the walk, don't talk the talk. Sure, sure, sure. I like that. I like I'm that. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, that's the official one. I guess the unofficial one is first in flight, first which I believe is Kitty, maybe Kitty Hawk. Yeah, it's maybe on their quarter too. That, I think it is. You're right. Official language English. Sure. Spoken languages English ninety point seven. Spoken languages Japanese. It's weird. <laughs> Crazy. 
uh, spoken language at uh, Rudolph's pub in like a <laughs> oh, like a beat poet yeah. or something. <laughs> uh, Demonym North Carolinian official Tar Heel colloquial capital. Hmm. Oh, of North Carolina, yeah, Raleigh, yeah, yeah. I know that largest one. city Charlotte. Sure, that is good. Charlotte, largest metro Charlotte Metro. Mm, kind of boring stuff. Time zone, Eastern time zone. Okay. Yeah, sure. That's a good one. Here, oh, website, nc.gov. Nice. I like that's about as yeah as basic as it Just gets. Just like New York, NY. Yeah. I'm 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 all about that. Uh, all right, let's see. North Carolina is a state in the southeastern United States. The state borders South Carolina and Georgia to the south, Tennessee to the west, Virginia to the north, and the Atlantic Ocean to the east. North Carolina is the 28th most extensive and 9th most populous of the 50 states. It's known as the Tar Heel State and the Old North State. It's composed of 100 counties. That's nice. That's a nice yeah, it's round. Right. Seems excessive. How many how many counties are in Illinois? I bet we have a lot. I bet too we many. have a ton. Too many. How many should we have? Four. Two, two. Chicago, Chicago, and other. <laughs> <laughs> what would what would it be? Chicago. Yeah, like Springfield, Springfield, right? Uh, corn, and Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, its capital is Raleigh. Blah blah blah. Charlotte. Past five decades, their economy has undergone a transition from reliance upon tobacco. What? Last oh. five years, tobacco, textiles, and furniture making. I'm sorry. The last five years. So this so article in, was in written the 21st century, huh? This article was written in 1680. <laughs> um, God. Tobacco, sugar cane? Uh, uh, to a more diversified economy with engineering, energy, biotechnology, and finance sectors. Okay, that's like proper 21st century stuff. Tobacco? Yeah, we decided, you Textiles. Know, Who the fuck makes textiles anymore? Well, we got uh, Davis the Cooper, and he's making barrels down yonder, <laughs> but he's getting old on. He's getting on in years. <laughs> so we got to go into aviations and flight. The So the third paragraph and the final paragraph in their little intro. Yeah, yeah. North Carolina has a wide range of elevations from <laughs> sea level on the coast to 6,684 feet at Mount Mitchell. Its highest point is, it, oh, the highest point in the eastern U.S. The climate That's of the coastal plains is strongly influenced by the Atlantic Ocean. Most of the state falls in the humid subtropical climate zone. God. More than 300 miles from coast to western mountainous part of the state is subtropical highland climate. So was, this, a, was this an eighth grade geography project? Yeah. <laughs> this sucks. Um. The winner of this dare contest gets to write the North Carolina Wikipedia article. D, I won't do drugs. A, I won't have an attitude. R, I will respect myself. E, I will educate me now. Well, I, I never learned that one. Me neither. I felt <laughs> it. <laughs> Just off the top of the dome right now. Uh, yeah, you can catch me every week at uh, Rudolph's Pub. Doing <laughs> beat, beat poetry. poetry. Yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, uh, it, it, there's uh, there's a beach in North Carolina where people go, correct? Or is it South Carolina that I'm thinking? Oh, um, like Myrtle Beach? That's in South Carolina. Okay, then forget it. North Carolina's got nothing. I, I went camping in the mountains of North Carolina once. Uh, it was great. It was a lot of fun. Did you meet any um, sort of local uh, uh, monsters like mo the Mothman or a, a Sasquatch? I'll tell you what. We were the local monsters. <sighs> no, no, what kind of? Not really, though. But we were camping. And we, we weren't in like a designated camping area. We just went... We went down like some like switchback sort of, and then eventually found our way into like, um, like a like a like a, like a, a river where we camped next to a river for for a day or two, and it was awesome. Um, and we were very secluded, just all by ourselves, like maybe like eight. Or eight so of you us. thought. Well, <laughs> we were just like eight of us, and so we woke up, you know, the first morning or whatever, and my friend Montana and I were like, "Hey, let's go. Uh, let's just go up river and try, you know, find we're trying to find some waterfall that he thought he knew about." And so we're just like in our underwear, just like walking through the woods. And then <laughs> there's a high. Meanwhile, there's a highway like well, <laughs> right beyond the trees. Yeah. So we're just like he has like a, he has like his pocket knife or whatever, like in the waistband of his underwear. And we're just like walking down the woods. And all of a sudden we just come across like a hiker who's just like in full gear. Like, hey, guys. Uh, what year is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He like asked us a question like, do you know where something is? And we're like. Nope, sorry, and just <laughs> just kept walking off into the woods. Like. You know, like he tells that story all the time <laughs> yeah. now. How old were you? Eighteen. We had just graduated high school. I met feral children <laughs> in the woods. Their skin was so pale. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, we never found that waterfall though. It probably was not real. I don't think it was either. It was a fever dream. Um, that that's 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 fun. That's yeah. fun. 
when was the last time you were camping? Yeah, that might have been the last time. It's been a very long time. Interesting. I, I would love to to go back and do it again. Did you, I would not. So I am <laughs> I am recusing myself from this. <laughs> Fair enough. This adventure. Okay. Um, More underwear for me. Did you experience any sort of hallucinations, uh, hallucinations alien abductions, goat mans, anything of that nature? All of the above. Nice. And, uh, the goat man abducted me and then fed me psilocybin mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> it was nutty, dude. What would you do what, if that happened? What, what would you? And I feel like I've asked this question before. What would you have to experience to believe in something paranormal? In aliens? Uh, aliens, goat mans, God, ghosts, um, yetis. <laughs> uh, I feel like it doesn't take much. Flatwoods monsters. It doesn't take much for me to believe as long as I just see anything that I don't understand. Like one time, it Uh-oh. was it was like Halloween. It was Halloween night. Do you see this this little devil hanging out with this <laughs> butterfly and this pirate and this hobo? <laughs> what a motley crew this weird. is! And I haven't even left Target yet. It was crazy. Uh, it was like me and my my buddy. They skinned the president and put his <laughs> face on this shelf. Oh my god! If I sincerely believed that, if I saw that, I would. Can you imagine? I would lose my mind. <laughs> Uh, but it was like me and my buddy Drew and maybe like one other person. And we were outside my house. It was like, you know, two o'clock in the morning. Like we had got done with a party or something. And we were just on the curb, just like sitting and hanging out. Smoking a J? Yeah, we were smoking. We were passing the blunt. And uh, and we could see someone approaching us Ugh. on the, on, like coming towards us. Two's the devil's hour, too. It was, yeah. And it, it just periodically, as they would like pass under the streetlights, we'd, you know, just see them illuminated just briefly until, you know, in and out of the streetlights. And it was like one at a time, each of us noticed this thing coming towards us and our conversation just, you know, slowly stopped as we all were like, oh my God, what the fuck is this thing? And each of us without saying anything came to the conclusion that it was some sort of like a devil priest or something. And, and all of us like independently of anything, we all just kind of got up together from off the curb. Like what the fuck is this? And then finally, eventually it got to the point where it was like no return. Like we're here now and here comes this thing. And it came under the final streetlight before they approached us. And it was like an old woman walking her dog. At 2 a.m.? Yeah. But she's begging to dude, make people think that she's a devil priest. We were, <laughs> we were all like shitting ourselves. Like, I don't know. We all saw it. So, you know what I'm saying? So maybe it was it's like some that kind scene of... in The Passion of the Christ where that woman is actually the devil. I haven't seen that movie. I've read the book. Is it in the book? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Does Jesus invent the the modern day height table in the book? <laughs> because that's is that in the movie? Yeah, and it's like like Jesus invents like a plane, like a like a you know a planing saw. Thing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, this is this is kind of funny. Um, my my sister posted a thing on Facebook today about her kid. Did you see? I, this? I saw. I don't remember what it was, but I remember laughing at it. It's really funny. So so her kid, my niece, is is like four. Sure. And I guess last night she put money under her pillow in the hopes that the tooth <laughs> yeah. fairy would bring her teeth. <laughs> That's the creepiest, most amazing thing I've ever well, heard. Yeah, because when I was home before, I taught her how to s- properly summon, uh, you know, spirits from the 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 other realm. I hope this and is you, true. No. Oh my god! <laughs> how crazy would that yeah. be? Okay, you just need you need teeth and the beak of a crow. <laughs> you need seven teeth, the beak of a crow, and the blood of a loved one. <laughs> and then you can summon any spirit who has passed. Yeah. Uh, no, but I wish like, you would have taught her that. She's Can you not... imagine filling her head with all kinds of crazy shit like that when she's like three, and then she'll forget about it. But when she's but like ten she'll... or twelve, she'll oh be like, yeah, yeah, you just need eight, you, <laughs> need, you need seven teeth, the beak of a crow, and the blood of a loved one. She'll be so freaking weird, dude, just because you taught her that shit when she was like three, and then never ever again. <laughs> um, okay, Santa's not real, but you want to know what is real? <laughs> summoning, summoning Lucifer, spirits son of the morning, yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Charlie. <laughs> he can't save you. Why? I don't. <laughs> but yeah, what a what a whacked out kid all on her own. She was like, "I want teeth. I will give this mu- this. I will pay. I will pay whatever <laughs> it takes. <laughs> Just get me teeth. Oh, I can't wait till like tonight when she puts like a dollar more, in her pillow. Yeah, more. like what's your price? <laughs> Name your price, spirit. <laughs> I must summon grandma. So it's a blood oath you require. <laughs> Damn, I didn't think she would find out it was a raven's beak. <laughs> Oh my God, Charlie's so precocious. <laughs> yeah, she's already 
<laughs> she's already, you know, already summoning, summoning Beelzebub <laughs> right. uh, into... At in, her age? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> she put her in a magnet school. <laughs> you should see the perfect pentagrams. She she draws in chalk all over her walls. Totally freehand, yeah. <laughs> freehand <laughs> pentagrams. <laughs> Man, that's amazing. Oh, she said her first incantation at 18 <laughs> months. <laughs> uh, when did I know? When did I know she was going to be so smart? <laughs> Probably when she told me that um, <laughs> that the spirit of the night was behind me, uh, getting ready to stab me, and uh, and she just she just told me that if I accepted him into my body, he would do me no harm, but oh, use God. me to do his bidding. Oh, God. And she was right. She was totally right. Oh, so smart. It was so funny when when I was you know four months pregnant with her, I could feel her clawing against the inside of my stomach lining, and it was just so you know, honey, come feel the baby claw at my innards. Her wings have <laughs> her wings have finally broken the skin. It is time. <laughs> uh, I uh, so I hope that when she honey, grows up, honey, I think it's time. My blood sack has broken. <laughs> What is that? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so I hope that when she grows up, she's just um, she hears this podcast. She hears this podcast, and also she's the the demon from the Night on Bald Mountain segment of Fantasia <laughs> that like lives in the mountain. And like when he wakes up, he like you know he does that shoulder thing, and then he like spreads his wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sure. then he uh, he summons like all the ghosts out of the graveyard yeah. to terrorize the village. That's what I hope that my niece grows up to become. Hey, you know what? It's the 21st century. Women can be anything they want to be these days. Smell you later. <laughs> so say something funny real quick. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That'll be it, though, for real, though, I'm sure. <laughs> this has been a Peaches and Hot Sauce presentation. Peaches. Hot Sauce. Peaches. Peaches, hot sauce, peaches, hot sauce, your peaches.